So if you were watching me during Generation 8 and you, you will remember, I was very adamant in my disbelief of Zoroark being a viable Pokemon. I took every opportunity that I could to basically just call them on terrible. <laughs> there was a point where people were really trying to hype up Zoroark, and I remember being right at the front with my shield and sword in hand, saying, no, stop. This mod is not real. This mod is not good. I'll admit, there was a brief period where I was like, okay, maybe it's not too bad. And then I quickly realized, no, it's terrible. But Generation 9 rolled around, and Zoroark has been one of the best wall breakers in the tier. And let's talk about why. As always, if you've been enjoying the content, leave a like, subscribe, not already subscribe, join the channel as a member if you could afford to, or you get exclusive content. Real fun, real fun time over there. Well, let's talk about the sets. Zoroark is very versatile, I think is the one thing we need to establish just immediately. The mod has many sets. I think really the top set here is the best by a landslide, but I still want to talk about these other sets because they do get use and I think they are still good to keep in mind as mon sets that you could run or run into. But the mod's really versatile and it's also got a really, really nice move pool. And the move pool really comes into play when you're looking at spec Zoroark. So this is what I think is the most consistent in terms of just attacks to have. Dark Pulse, obligatory. Psychic, you want to move to hit the fighting types. Sludge Bomb, we don't really have fairy types, but Pokemon like Umbreon and Vaporeon, and Chansey even, do commonly use their Terra to become a fairy type, so it is nice to get that coverage for them. And in U-turn, because you want to be able to pivot against the mods you can't break. But there are a lot of options here. Now, I think Sludge Bomb is pretty droppable, frankly, because you can run Trick. And a lot of the Pokemon that would usually switch into you to tank your attacks don't really want to be given the specs. So that's a really nice way to just cripple them, take them out of the game. You could also run Focus Blast here instead. Focus Blast is nice because you could always just immediately catch an Umbreon on the switch. Gives you a little bit more damage versus Chansey. Hits Terra Dark Vaporeon if you need to hit it. Hits Terra Steel Electros. Generally just a really good coverage move overall. But the main point with the set really is just you're going to be using Dark Pulse in U-Turn. A lot of time with Zoroark, most common partners like Passimian or Scyther. So U-Turn is just really nice to have always because you want to be able to feign that you are the other Pokemon. People will know from the damage you do with U-Turn whether or not you're the Zoroark. But it's still really nice to have because it helps for just general moves. To not reveal, like, oh, what do I have? I'm just going to keep U-turning on you till you eventually get, you know, CC'd by my other guy. And you're really just looking to open it up for that Dark Pulse spamming late game. Or even earlier mid game. The whole point of this spawn is you're trying to use Dark Pulse to break cores open and force Terra from your opponent. Because, especially if you use your own Terra, Terra Dark Dark Pulse, not really much of anything in the format that doesn't resist it is going to be able to tank too. And so this is a really good way to force your opponent to also play reactionary with their own Terra. And if, you know, sometimes all you need to do is force a Terra from your opponent to be able to get into a really good spot later on in the game. Maybe you're just looking to force the Terra on the Umbreon because you've got... I don't know. Let's look at a Pokemon that wants the Umbreon to Terra. Maybe you got a Bruxish in the back and you want it to not be a Dark type anymore? That's a possibility. Or you're just trying to make sure that something else doesn't Terra. So you're trying to force the defensive Terra from your opponent. And then there's Scarf. The whole point of Scarf is that you're faster than Passimian. That's really it. You're a really good utility mon because you're so fast. So you outspeed a ton of common Pokemon. Say like Paldi and Tauros at plus one with Trailblaze. Jolteon you outspeed now. You outspeed Choice Scarf Bruxish, which is... You know, set that's rising in popularity. You outspeed Lycanroc now. You guaranteed outspeed opposing Scyther. There's a lot of nice things that you don't have to worry about outspeeding you anymore. But like I said, the main point is you're trying to catch Passimian by being faster than it. And you're able to easily take it out with a Psychic early on. I believe you do need a little bit of chip, but it's not too much. And once you get rid of Passimian, that can open up the game for Zoroark itself to clean late. Again, we have Terra Dark Dark Pulse. Makes up for the drop in power by not being specs. Or just open it up for any Pokemon that a Passimian could threaten a Revenge Kill. I mean, the Mon Revenge Kill is like everything in the format. 
<laughs> so if you're able to lure it in and take it out with Psychic early on, that's really good. And you definitely double up all the time on Chicken U-Turn. You want to have U-Turn because, again, pivoting is just really, really nice. Especially for feigning whether or not you're another pivot on your team. But also because this Pokemon does not do nearly as much damage, you really appreciate the extra utility. You have U-Turn to be able to never lose momentum against something like a Chansey or a Vaporeon or an Assault Vest Eel. But then you also have Trick because you want to talk about a useless item? Yeah, talk about a Scarf Chansey or a Scarf Umbreon. Nobody has ever said they are worried about losing to one of those two Pokemon. So it's really nice to be able to make them significantly less useful. Next up, sub NP. Now, <laughs> yeah, we got like cooked by this set not too many videos ago. Shout out ZS for, you know, voting out on a sample. Really appreciate you, smile. Yeah, so this set's whole thing is I am going to exploit anything slower than me. I'm going to lock them into a useless move, and then I'm going to sub up, and you try to go Passimian, I will be able to always maintain a sub, and if you CC me, I will tear a ghost. Sub right in front of your face. It's really nice too, because you think about slower setup sweepers, something like a Toxic Rogue, for example, where if it's not sub, not substitute, if it's not nasty plot with Vacuum Wave, you super don't have to worry about it doing anything versus you. But even if it's something like Sword Stance, you can just hard Zora work in, uncord into the Sword Stance, or uncord into Sucker Punch even, and then get your free substitute up, and there's nothing you can do about it. Something like I was gonna say Sword Stance Bruxish, but that's just gonna Aqua Jet you. Something like, though, a, um. There's not a whole lot of other great options, but even something like a Spiritomb, you could Encore Lock, and then you're going to out boost it long term, which is also really nice. You could always Encore Lock a Pokemon like, say, Cacturn into its Hazard, or something like Appleton into its Recovery move. That way they have to keep wasting power points. Same thing applies to Chansey where you could potentially just Encore into Soft Boiled, or Stealth Rock, or Sub Up and then Encore into T-Wave. Just that gives you a lot of leverage around these Pokemon that kind of can struggle to deal with you if you ever get the Sub Up, or can just struggle to even prevent the Sub in the first place. And the last up we got Swords Dance. This is admittedly like the worst set <laughs> that I've ever tried using on Zoro. I think the main issue is it's just, it's so slow at making progress, Zoroark's physical attack, as y'all can see, it's not like it's a low physical attack mod, but <laughs> your stab attacks knock off, and you want to spam knock early, because you want to be able to get rid of Passimian's scarf. You want to be able to get rid of Sanaconda's rocky helmet. The issue is, is that once you knock these mons, you lose your best source of damage against them. And so... Yeah, Sucker Punch is still stronger, technically, than a um, knockoff once you've knocked the item, so it's not like you have to keep using knock. But the drop in power is pretty significant, from boosted knock to Sucker Punch. And a lot of the mods that are coming into Revengeful Zoroark, I mean, you're not beating these with Sucker anyway. I mean, some of them you are. Say, like a Jolteon, if they were trying to revenge kill you and you had Sword Stance in their face, well, yeah, you could pop that with a Sucker. A Scarf Haunter. You could pop that with a Sucker. Like something like Scarf Mabostiff? No. Pass, even if it's not Scarf anymore? No. Croak? Same thing applies there. Any fighting type, really? No. <laughs> it's just kind of bleak. And as I mentioned, even like Sandaconda, you're never breaking. Terra Fairy, Umbreon, or Vaporeon, you're never breaking. So, I don't really like this set. I'm still mentioning it because it does see some use. But I think you've got better options. But Zoroark, regardless of that, even if I believe these three sets are all mediocre at best, Spec Zoroark makes this mon so problematic to deal with. The Illusion mind games are genuinely super bonkers. And yes, of course, it has coverage for fairy types. Even if we had them, you could say, oh, well, it wouldn't matter. You just sludge bomb them. Yeah, well, you know what? Locking in a sludge bomb, not exactly the most fun. <laughs> and so... There's at least that opportunity cost if we had, you know, say, Florgus still, or if we ever got Sylveon. But as of now, teams having to rely on their Terra just to take out Zoroark at times? Quite bleak. This one's definitely got a stranglehold on the tier in terms of fast wall breakers, and wow, is it funny to see. <laughs> but I hope y'all enjoyed this.
Probably gonna have a PS Live tomorrow, as you can see at the top right. Loading! PS apparently is, uh, dealing with some problems right now. So, getting battles isn't really possible. Tomorrow, though? Hopefully it'll be fixed. I'll catch y'all next time. Have a good day, and peace.